You guys ready for the show? There we go. Let me just get into a state of the internet mode here. I got my glass of wine. And uh, I'm not going to look at any of your comments while I'm doing this. Now, I wanted to dress nice for the state of the internet, you know. So I figured I'd doll myself up a little bit. I hope you guys like this custom tailored high quality cotton that I got going on here. Just, there we go. It's very comfortable. It flows so well and it's, it breathes. Okay. And finally, all right, here we are. The state of the internet address. <coughs> all right. Where's my wine? Like, you guys know, like, this is how Obama does it, right? Okay. So, uh, don't be alarmed if I read off a piece of paper. And here we go. Hmm. Uh, um. Hmm. Yes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette's State of the Internet Address for 2016. Now, this actually marks the seventh year I've sat here in my etiquette set to teach you guys about the importance of proper and good Internet Comment Etiquette. And we've learned quite a bit over those last seven years. Most recently, we were able to solve racism in my lesson, Solving Racism Online. And you may have noticed that there has been no racism online since that video especially not in the comment section of that video. You won't find any racism anywhere. It's just eradicated. So, you're welcome. Now, I'd like to take this moment to look back on some of our other achievements over the last year. In February, of course, I announced that this channel was going to become its own thing, and I immediately overreached by promising way too much stuff per week. Like, I really shouldn't have, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. But, uh, you guys remember Subreddit of the Week? Yeah, that's what I mean. That was a lot of fun, but it's just, uh, I got good news. There's going to be a subreddit of the week every day now, for every week, ever, forever. So that's my promise to you. You can, you can hold me to that. In March, I discovered my favorite website ever, called younow.com. And that's the site where I go to talk to shirtless southern beefcakes. This guy, for instance, had a chinchilla he was showing off to the camera. And then I asked him how many it would take to create a shirt. <laughs> that was really fun. That was my favorite joke ever. He loved it. I loved it. Everyone loved it. And I've used you now pretty liberally throughout all of my videos in 2015, and I hope to continue that trend into 2016 when I start unveiling my new you now account, my favorite alternate account, Tennessee Jack 52. He's going into you now. Let's see what he's got to say. In April, I let my girlfriend Victoria, uh, oh shit, oh she's going to hate that, Veronica, <laughs> oh sorry babe, I let my girlfriend Veronica take over for a lesson, and I got a really great response. She looked beautiful. And I think she did a great job of showing you what it's like to be a woman online. In May, I learned all about reaction videos. And tune in in May for when I start my own reaction video channel called Big Money Salvia Reacts 69. It's a little bit of a social experiment just to see how little effort is needed on my part to pay rent. Moving along, in June, I did not upload a single video. So let's skip that. In July, we all learned together how to optimize our YouTube channels. And those optimizations stay there to this day at least until I do the lesson on how to de-optimize your YouTube channel because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm getting people in trouble at work with all those titties. Uh, July also saw my most popular lesson to date on pranksters on YouTube and then it was immediately copyright claimed by Fullscreen who took all of my money and I actually did a whole lesson on that debacle where my good neighbor Ethan chimed in via hologram. Although it seems like those lessons didn't actually help anything, I'm still seeing some of my favorite YouTube content creators getting hit with fraudulent and sometimes downright illegal copyright claims. And in 2016, I'm going to give you people the skills you need to fight back against copyright claims. Nobody should be able to profit off of your work unless it's you. That's what I meant. I don't mean other YouTube channels. I don't mean multi-channel networks. And I certainly don't mean TV and movie things, studios and whatnot. Let me make this clear. I'm going to 
completely eradicate false copyright claims in 2016. That is a promise, and you can hold me to it. Now, finally, the last quarter of 2015 was a, was a wonderful ride. Uh, my tormentor, Skjolder, showed up and told a really nice Halloween story. I got super drunk and uh, made a ton of money on Kickstarter. And then I got super drunk again and graded comments with my good friend Jack's Films. And then I also got drunk and team killed an entire squad of snipers in Battlefield 4. It was a truly, truly good experience. In 2015, we saw 3.3 million views. We saw 64,000 subscribers and an outrageous amount of tweets to Ted Cruz over the course of 45 hard-hitting videos. There weren't 45 Comantica videos in existence before 2015. Chew on that. And I think what pushed me forward and what motivated me was seeing the joy in your words as you learn new internet comment etiquette tricks. I could read it in your replies. I could see it in your ASCII art. And I stand before you a proud teacher. You may think of yourselves as fans, supporters, subscribers. I think of you as advocates. Because an advocate is someone you listen to. And I've listened to all of you, and I have crafted a wonderful syllabus for the year ahead. And I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Now, speaking of the year ahead, I've, I've talked about some of the lessons that we're going to be enjoying as, as we move along. But I think it's important now to impart a theme on the year. And I want the theme of 2016 to be unification. We must be united, my brothers. The internet is far too shattered. Nobody's getting along, and there is too much at risk here. The internet as we know it is at risk. We must band together. And I'm going to teach you to unify. I will teach you to apologize to each other. There's too much going on. I, I, I don't know what the fuck a CISPA is, but I'm probably going to do a whole lesson on it. It's going to be called The Future of Entertainment Part 2, Dystopian Nightmare Future. Because we only have one internet, people. Unless you count the dark web. And whatever that bullshit is going on in Pakistan. Whatever they think the fuck they're using. That land party Horseshit. So anyway, 2016 should be the year that we look back and say we fought together. We won our internet back so that we can go now and debate 9-11 in peace. Thank you. It has been my honor tonight to sit here and speak to you good men and women of etiquette. And I'd like now to take a moment and recognize some of my students who have been gold star students throughout the year. Let's start with uh, Manny Calavera. Always first to class, with fantastic student input. A cheers to you, buddy. Flying Trout, you're a real, uh, you're a real pain in the ass, buddy. And you're a real kiss ass on top of it. But you're nice to look at. <coughs> cheers to you, buddy. Paul is always right for being the bad boy with a heart of gold. Here's to you, Paul is always right. Let me see if I can hit the next button with my wine glass. I didn't do this in rehearsals. So, the Hoax Hotel. Hoax Hotel, you always picked up new techniques, and that's something that everybody can learn from the Hoax Hotel. A cheers to you, sir. Mm. Romeo. Romeo, you found the calling yourself to be a teacher of etiquette, and I think that's great. And at some point in the future, I'd like to teach all of you how to be the best etiquette teachers you can be, starting with Romeo. He'll help me do the teachings. Thank you, Romeo. A cheers to you, buddy. Dr. Zombo, who successfully posted the phrase, fuck off, cunt, on every single video on this channel. Thank you, Dr. Zombo. I appreciate that. A cheers to you. And also to Jack's Films. I mean, Jack's Films isn't really a student so much as he is a colleague, but the man still invited me into his home. He fed me the finest of spirits, and he let me spread my internet comment etiquette lessons. And for that, I am eternally grateful. A cheers to you, sir. And last but not least, we have the student of the year. Of course, it's Ben Dover. Ben Dover was the first person to ever leave a comment on this brand new Comentica channel in February. And we have to applaud him for not writing first, as so many of you would have been inclined to do. Benjamin, I hope you're watching this now and that you're so proud of me and that you're proud of what you did because I'm proud of you. Now moving along, we have so much to cheers for. So many good things happened in 2015 and I'd like all of you to raise a glass to yourselves for helping make the state of the internet as strong it is, as it is. A cheers to you all. And uh, I guess that's the end. So if you're going to excuse me now, <coughs> I got to get, <coughs> get back to my production of uh, 
my prestigious Kickstarter backed short film, Eric Drinks Wine and Gets a Haircut. So here we go. <coughs> I mean, I guess, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we leave it off with a tweet to Ted Cruz? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do a tweet to Ted Cruz real quick. And here we have Ted Cruz's Twitter. Let's go ahead and tweet. Hey, which chapter of your memoir is going to be about how everyone thinks you're a little bitch, joke, melty faced jizz? Candle. Hashtag flat earth. Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it! Oh, okay, I'll take out little. There we go. And tweet! Alright, guys, well, uh. That's the end of the state of the internet. I didn't want to take up too much of your time because, you know. You guys have really short attention spans. So anything after four minutes just fucking destroys you. So anyway, I'm going to uh, go off to my production now. If Eric drinks wine and gets a haircut, I'll stay in the chat maybe a little bit longer. But, you know, I got to think of the bottom line here, baby. Bottom line is I look great. So you're welcome. Good night.